Are you looking for a way for your team members to work together and be more organized? Well, JotForm has got you covered. It's called JotForm Teams, and it has workspaces where your team members can work together and be more productive. So let's go check this out. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today we're going to check out JotForm Teams. Now, to get started, it's super easy. There's two ways that we can create a team. One is by clicking on the left section here, Create Team, and we can get started right away here. Or we can click on the top left menu, and we can click on Create a Team from here. Now, the first thing that it's going to ask us is to select an avatar. There are several avatars available. If you don't like the ones you see here, we can click on the plus button, and we can have an avatar by uploading an image or selecting from the gallery available. You can also enter a URL if you have an image that's already a URL, it'll grab it from there and upload it. And there's also the option for icon. We have icons and emojis, whatever you want to use, there's a whole bunch of them that you can select from and use it. So for example, if you want to use this little thumbs up like a like, we can just go ahead and select it or from one of the images available on the gallery. So in this case, I'll select this little fox, which looks really nice. And next thing we're going to do is name our team. So in this case, we're going to name it, for example, um, HR. Okay, we're going to keep it simple and we can invite team members. So let me go ahead and invite a team member. I can do so by selecting several one of these. And the next option that we have is what access do we want to give this team member? So if we give them team access, they can view, move, edit and delete forms and data. So they can also invite team members to this section of the workspace so they get practically all the access. If you want to just do data collaborator, you can do so data viewer and creator. In this case, we'll leave them as team admin. And once we're good to go, we can go ahead and create it. Now we've just created a brand new workspace and that team member has received an invite. All he has to do is create the account. And if he has one, he can just accept the access to the team section. Now, let me go back into one of the teams that I've created already, which is marketing. This is a marketing workspace. Now in this section, I can go ahead and create forms, apps, tables, etc., and all the team members will be able to view it. Now, depending on the access that you provide them, they'll be able to edit or add more team members. Now to view the team members that, that have access to this in the left section, there's a section here that says two members. If I click on this, we're able to view all the team members that have access to this particular workspace. Now, one of the cool features about this is that you can change the access level that you've provided them. For example, this one that I've created, which is Miguel, I can click on team admin and I can change them to collaborator, data viewer, creator, or remove them from the team. So all that's available and we can invite more team members if we like. Let's go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and create something really quickly. Let's go into create a form. And I'll use a template just for demo purposes. And I'll select from one of the templates here and I'll use this product order form. I can go ahead and preview it. If I like it, I'll say use template and it's going to load this form for me. Let's go ahead and wait for this to be loaded. There we go. We have the job form builder. We're not going to edit any, anything from here. Let's go back into our workspace. Again, we're in marketing. We have two forms available. Now let's go ahead and view this on the team members side. So let's go check this out. This is the team member. This is the overall dashboard of the team member. They have their independent forms, but they also have access to my teams. They have marketing here. So let's go ahead and go into marketing and we have access to the two forms that were created in the team workspace. So since this one has admin access, again, they can also view members. They can change the access level. They can invite more members. They can view the form, they can edit the form. So if I click on edit form, I can do so here and I'm able to edit this form and the changes will reflect also on the other end. So it's pretty cool that we have all these features available in the team workspace. So let's go back into the main workspace here. Now we can view all the forms here in list mode, but we also have options to go into the team workspace In the team workspace. It's a cleaner view of this workspace section where we're also we're just focusing on this workspace and we're not viewing our particular forms or other team forms. So just this one. So in this section, we can go ahead and view, for example, we have the icon, we have a, a banner on the top. We have the forms that were created. If I click on this form, there's also options. For example, we can add it to a folder. We can move it to another section if we like. 
we can edit the form and we can also invite more team members to this so we have full access to this form and if i want to invite a particular team member to this one i can go ahead and click on invite and i can invite by link or i can invite by email so it's pretty flexible in that sense because if i copy a link i can go ahead and use this link and invite members with this link now there's also settings for this because i can designate what, how that link is going to work it since that link might be um, lost in some cases maybe you don't want to provide team admin access well you might want to make it data viewer and then change it to team admin once you make sure that the right person was invited it's just an idea if you want to change the settings for that let's go ahead and close this and other things that we can do is in this workspace we're able to create new folders so for example i can say a folder that says done just in case we're not going to use that we can create other folders for different particular cases if i select this i can go ahead and add to folder and i can move it to the done folder if i like now all this is going to be also reflected on the team member side so again let's go into the team member side let's go ahead and refresh this let's go into the team workspace and here we go it's been added to the done folder if i click on it i can go into the done folder and only that particular form i can see here now let's go into the main section over here now we can also create more things with this so for example if i go here i can create a particular a tables or reports approvals apps and signature and signed documents for this particular workspace so for example if i want to create um a reports for this let's go ahead and click on this let's create a report and we'll say a visual report builder select the form let's go next we'll select this one that has one submission compact report let's keep it simple we'll say report for this create and here we go it's been created we have a report for this okay let's get out of here let's go back into our workspace again let's go into the workspace for this and now we have the report view also let's go back into the team member side let's go over here let's go ahead and go into the all section and here it is here's the report they can also view it so it's super easy to edit the form go into all the options and work simultaneously with these forms apps submissions tables etc now in this team section side for example if i want to view this submission i can go into more go to submissions and i'll be i'll be able to view the submissions as a team member because i have full access in this case since i'm the admin of this workspace also so i'm able to view it in that sense let's close this now there's more settings for the team section if i go to team settings on the bottom left let's go ahead and click on this there's the general settings so for example if i want to change the team name i can do so by editing here if i want to change the custom url i can do so or in case i want to delete the team i can do so also i can remove all the forms that i have or move them to another team or other sections and delete the team if i like there's also the reposition if i want to change the image or change the cover so if i don't like that kind of look go ahead and change it to this mountains look nicer i can go ahead and reposition this there we go let's go ahead and save it so just giving it that extra um nice look just by changing the look of the banner now there's also the team members options here again we can go ahead and change the, the user role if i like remove the member or add more members the team activity log so in this case i'm able to view what the team members are actually doing so for example if they edited one of the forms the tables the apps i can i can view it here so for example i can view for example updated created changed team cover background image and there's a log for all of this okay and there's the team visibility here for example team visibility organization only make it private the default member role so if you want to make default something that's not an admin we can use data collaborator as the default one if we like and it's super easy to change all those settings now let's go back into the team settings over here let's make a little bit more of changes on the team axis so for the team axis remember we have this member that we're doing test on if i change the axis level to for example uh, view data only let's go ahead and change it let's go ahead and close it let's go into the team member just to view the changes let's go ahead and refresh it 
Okay, now we're viewing the form. If I go to more options, we are not gonna get the options to edit this particular form. So we have now view access only. So it's super easy to change all those settings to change the view access or the editor access with these particular settings. But that is job form teams. Like we mentioned before, it's gonna help your teams be more organized and be more productive. Well, we hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button to get notifications. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.